Papua New Guinea's unfolding tragedy, fears of a rising toll from the ferry disaster. The inland sea, thousands cut off by eastern Australia's floods. Egypt aflame, more deaths in renewed clashes following the football violence. And inside Villawood, a rare look at life in a detention centre. It's human beings in here and it's human beings out there helping. Behind the perimeter of the Villawood Detention Centre in Western Sydney lies a secret world little known to outsiders. Overcrowding and prolonged processing have led to many detainees suffering from severe psychological problems. One way of coping, the soothing power of music, thanks to a program run by volunteers. SBS's Marion Ives has gone behind the wire amid tight media restrictions for an exclusive look at how the program's working. From the outside, these are the images we usually see of Villawood Detention Centre. Distressed detainees doing dangerous and desperate things. Now SBS has been granted a rare look inside. The level of security is intense, mobile phones are prohibited and all visitors are scanned. On this occasion, the centre is expecting a special delivery. But to get beyond layers of wire fencing, more checks are carried out. Two donated pianos are being moved to their new home. One is going into the high security section. Far from being a Steinway grand and not perfectly in tune, but it'll become the centre of a music program that's proving very popular. Volunteer Philip Feinstein has been teaching child detainees here for over a year. This is the first adults class. These students come from Zambia, Western Sahara, Sri Lanka, Latvia, Slovakia, New Zealand and the Philippines. The Immigration Department won't allow us to identify them. At first, some are reluctant, but then find their groove. To find an outlet where they can feel good, I think music is so much the answer. With almost 400 detainees, Villawood is virtually at maximum capacity. Psychologists say many are suffering from mental illness. Usually depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, and of course we see people deteriorating over time, having connection um, with things that are, can maybe distract um, from the reality, the harsh reality of life in detention is important. As far as the big picture is concerned, I can't do much. I'm just one person, one vote. But as an individual, I am able to help. Operator Serco does provide some recreational activities. But volunteers believe their visits are a vital connection to the outside world. Our cameras were one of the first to be allowed inside Villawood. Despite the largely positive nature of the music program, the Immigration Department prevented SBS from interviewing detainees and scrutinised all our footage. A former detainee who is allowed to talk is Kamalesh Waran Seladurai. The Sri Lankan arrived on Christmas Island by boat in 2009 and was then in Villawood for a year and a half. It's very hard, very sad and someone, some of my friends, they did um, uh, try to um, suicide two, three times. He says a volunteer arts program saved his sanity. I can't tell outside people I'm, I have this problem, this problem, no. That time I'm doing painting, I'm doing that my expression, the paint brush. Serco has since suspended the classes after an exhibition was held outside Villawood. We did protect the privacy of everyone involved. We didn't um, tell the names even of, of the people whose artworks we were showing. Uh, so we, we made every precaution we could. The Immigration Department says it's the subject of an ombudsman's review. The Refugee Art Project hopes Serco will allow classes to be restarted. Because ultimately we share the same objectives, which is to help asylum seekers through this process of transition. Philip Feinstein wants to expand his music classes to other immigration facilities. That would require more donated instruments. A lot of the guitars that are organised actually came from Jewish organisations. And these are organisations who know that a lot of the people inside the centres are actually Muslim. But the bottom line is it's human. 
It's human beings in here and it's human beings out there helping. With music, one link they have in common. Marion Ives, World News Australia. And to learn more about the story behind the report you've just watched, go to our website for Marion Ives' blog, Inside Villawood.